I'm Senator Mark Obenchain, and I represent the 26th Senate District, which includes much of the Shenandoah Valley and the city of Harrisonburg, along with Shenandoah, Page, Warren, and Rappahannock counties, and part of Rockingham County. Second week of the 2015 General Assembly sessions come to an end, and the Republicans are hard at work on issues that matter to Virginians. Just this week, my colleagues and I announced legislation that's going to move Virginia to the forefront of the fight against human trafficking. This legislation will give law enforcement strong new tools to fight those who would snare our children into the horrifying world of the sex trade. Enacting these proposals will make it absolutely clear to those predators who would prey on our children that Virginians will not stand idly by while they claim more victims. Virginia's children are not, are, are not for sale and these new laws will give our communities the tools they need to put a stop to this crime and to rescue the victims already in its grasp. Now Republicans in the Senate and in the House of Delegates are also working hard to advance a forward-looking agenda that's going to focus on the things that you care about. Better schools for our children, creating better and higher paying jobs, and making sure that state government doesn't treat your pocketbook like an ATM. Simply said, our top priorities during this session of the General Assembly are the same priorities that your family and my family discuss every night at the kitchen table. Unfortunately, our Democratic colleagues are not focused on the concerns of hardworking families. Instead, they're focused on a backward-looking, divisive, politically driven agenda with one goal, getting the hard-left liberal interest groups fired up for November. Republicans are focused on improving education, but Democrats are focused on gun control. Republicans are focused on the economy, but Democrats are focused on expanding Obamacare. And it's not entirely surprising. President Obama set the tone for the Democrats in his State of the Union speech on Tuesday when he rolled out hundreds of billions of new dollars in new taxes and a raft of new government programs and job-killing regulations. It doesn't take a professor of constitutional law to see that bigger government and higher taxes are absolutely the last thing that our economy needs right now. President Obama's speech was all style and no substance, recycled from bad liberal ideas that we've seen time and again. How can anyone explain the president's idea to pay for free, quote, free community college education by taxing the 529 savings plans that so many Virginians have worked so hard to set aside for educating their children. All style and no substance, aimed at getting liberal Democrats to the polls. But that's okay. While the Democrats in Washington and Richmond are spending their time trying to get reelected, we're gonna be spending our time working for you, the people of the Commonwealth. I'm Senator Mark Obenchain. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great weekend.